eyebrows. So recently I found out some pretty concerning information regarding uh, wearing headphones and like wearing like the earbuds and things like these. Um, and I wanted to share it with you because it's a little bit concerning some of the things I found out about these and I'm actually starting to change my routine and the things that I'm doing because of these things. So basically the problem is, you know, essentially everybody you see these days walks around with earbuds and I do it too, right? You're in the gym, you're walking, you're out in public, you're shopping for whatever. You see everybody with earbuds in, okay? Or they could be like the headphones too. Like people do headphones, earbuds, whatever. They're constantly walking around, constantly listening to things. I've been doing some research into this and the main fucking fly in here. Oh my God. So essentially there's four major issues that I found with constantly wearing these things while you're doing other things, essentially kind of like multitasking. So you're going to be listening to things while you're in the gym, while you're walking, while you're out shopping or whatever. And I think that these are reasons enough that you might want to consider changing that. So the first one is, and probably one of the most major ones is that when you are walking around, okay, or you're moving just in general, it's been scientifically shown that it's a great way to actually become more creative. So as you're moving and going, like say you're in the gym or you're on a walk or a hike or something, or you're just going about your day moving around for, I don't know exactly how it works. Like really scientifically, I'm not like a scientist, but basically the research I was doing was showing that there's different neural pathways in your brain that can connect better and make better connections when you're in movement. Now, the thing is in order for this to happen in, or, in order for your brain to essentially take different pieces of information that you've been learning about, right? So say you learn about something and your brain's able to make connections and come up with new creative ideas and solutions. That's not really going to be able to happen as easily when you're being distracted wearing earphones. So for us, this is kind of applicable because if we have certain goals, right, we've got goals to achieve any, any particular thing. We're constantly consuming information, or at least hopefully you are about how to better achieve those goals. And if you want to come up with solutions to your goals on how to get there faster or different things that you may have missed, a lot of your solutions are going to come from your brain doing like that subconscious work to kind of come up with the solution. Now, if you're wearing earbuds and you're constantly listening to like music and you're listening to podcasts and stuff while you're moving, the problem with that is your brains, it's, it's harder for your brain to make connections with those like neural pathways within your brain between the different information that you've been learning about because it's focusing on something else. And as we know, we can't really multitask. It's really more just your, your attention is just switching rapidly. So this is one of the major things that I found out and I was like, oh my God, this is kind of important because a lot of the goals that I'm working on, I'll be able to get better solutions for those problems and how to overcome them if I'm not constantly being distracted while I'm moving. So a practical thing that you can do, which I started doing was when you go for a walk or you're going to the gym, just take your earphones out and stop listening to things, at least while you're doing one of those things, right? And give your brain a chance to be able to just kind of sublimate in all the information that you've learned and kind of make those uh, connections. And I noticed for myself when I started doing this, I was actually getting like more, more thoughts coming up, right? Like more, more things coming up to the surface about and related to like my goals and stuff when I'm not constantly distracting myself. So this is another reason why people get what's called like shower thoughts where you may, you may have experienced this bro, but like if you're sitting in the shower and you just all of a sudden get like this amazing idea, like it just pops in your brain. You're like, what the? So like this has happened to me so many times I'll be sitting in the shower, right? I'll just be in the shower. It's just relaxing. I'm just like, oh, this is so nice. Next thing I know, this thing pops up to my mind, this great idea. And it's because I'm relaxed. I'm in a relaxed state and I'm not distracting myself with a bunch of noise, right? Or, or people talking or whatever. So when you get these quote unquote shower thoughts where you're just, you're relaxed, you're in the shower and next thing you know, this amazing idea pops up in your head, right? Or the solution to the, something you've been thinking about in your subconscious, it's because of what I'm talking about, right? It's because you're in a relaxed state and you're, and you don't have things in your ears and your brain's not being distracted by other things. So Again, that's another example is even when you're in the shower, sometimes you may not be moving per se, but you're in a relaxed state where you're just standing there. It's really beneficial to not do this. And I know it's so difficult because 
you know, it's, it's really hard to not be consuming all the time. Like we're, we're trained in a society to just constantly consume content and constantly consume music and noise constantly. It can be kind of scary. It's, it's probably scary for you to sit there and just be right. And just, just be present. Like it's, it's scary to go to the gym without your earbuds in like, holy shit, I'm going to have to lift weights without listening to shit. <laughs> you know, it, it's not easy, but there's major benefits to doing this. And this is going to be how you get a great edge over your competition and just, just become a better person in general. And like, for me, I was so addicted to like constantly listening to things that I couldn't be in a place. I couldn't be doing things without being distracted. Right? Like it, for me, it was so bad, bro, that I would literally be, I would go into the shower. Okay. I'll tell you this, go into the shower, get in the shower. I would take these out, put these in and start listening to shit while I was in the shower. Okay. Now there's nothing crazy wrong with that, but the problem is, is I'm blocking myself from, from listening to myself, right? I'm blocking myself from my thoughts. And so I would wear these in the shower and listen to stuff just because I was like, well, I'm standing here. I might as well listen to something. Right. And you think that that's a good idea because you, you maybe you're listening to like podcasts or something educational, but it's not a good idea because you can only consume so much before you need to let your brain like relax and try to make connections with the information that you consume. You can't constantly consume and never take a break. So when you're in the shower, when you're in the gym, when you're going on walks and hikes or you're out in public, this is when you let your brain relax. This is when you let your brain just take in all the information and it's just processing it and coming up with new ideas and new solutions for you. So if you don't do this, if you're constantly listening to things, you're not going to be able to come up with better ideas, right? You're not going to be able to come up with the solutions you need, especially not as easy. This is kind of a hack, really. You might think you're missing out on something, but you're actually gaining by not doing that. And so, yeah, bro, I would literally be in the shower just like listening to like stuff. And I would be like trying to like stay back from the water, like so that my earbuds didn't get like ruined, but <laughs> just stupid, man. But anyways, um, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't be constantly listening to stuff. Just Just give yourself a break. Let yourself be present in the moment. And let your brain do some work, right? Let your brain do that subconscious work of coming up with some freaking amazing ideas. And you'll find that you become a lot more creative. At least at least I did. If you're someone like me, you'll find you come up with much better ideas. You're more creative. And yeah, it's just a great thing. So the second important reason why you might want to stop doing this is because when you're out and about in real life, you're kind of not present when you're listening to things, right? If you're out and you're in the gym and you're listening to a podcast, you're not really as present in the moment. You're not really focused on the workout. And so in my opinion, you're going to get a better workout when you aren't trying to multitask because you can just simply focus on the workout. And I've noticed that I've gotten better results and just had better workouts when I'm not trying to multitask all the time. I'm not saying like you can't like listen to music or whatever, but I definitely find some benefits to sometimes just going to the gym and just doing the workout without needing to put in earbuds, right? Or trying to like listen to music or podcasts. It's just like, like if you're not able to do a single thing without trying to distract yourself, that's going to affect your focus. And so if I can go to the gym, if I can go on a walk without needing to constantly distract myself, then my ability to focus and achieve the things that I want to achieve becomes even better, right? My attention span is definitely improved by being able to go to one place right? Go out in the world, go out in public without needing to constantly distract myself with listening to an educational podcast or constantly listening to music. You know, you don't always need to be distracted. You can just focus in on the present moment. And, you know, that that's why a lot of people do meditation is to help them become more present with where they are in the moment. And that's great. But you can also just start by simply taking out your earbuds when you're out in public and just, you know, being in the moment and just being out there without constantly distracting yourself. So that leads on to the next point, which is number three. Uh, you're going to have more opportunities to connect with people and actually make social connections when you don't have earbuds in. So if you notice, there's a lot of people that walk around, they have earbuds in. You can't really approach someone when they have earbuds on, right? Or when they have headphones on. It doesn't make sense. So if you want to actually make more social connections, which could lead to better opportunities for yourself, then it's really a great way to do that too. Because if I've got these in, right, if I'm putting these in, like, you're going to see that you're not going to like walk up to me and be like, Hey, dude, blah, blah, blah. So again, it's just another, another pro of potentially, you know, 
not always wearing them everywhere you go, especially when you're out in public and stuff is just being able to actually make connections with people and have better opportunities. So the last thing I want to talk about that I found out was, especially with these ones, these ones right here, uh, these are like the wireless ones that you just put in. You can just connect to your phone. Uh, these ones are definitely a lot more dangerous because they have EMF, right? So Bluetooth emits EMF, which it's not a super high amount of EMF. So it's not super dangerous, but at the same time, if you think about it, it's right up next to your head, right? So the whole time, you know, you might listen to a two hour podcast with these for two hours, that thing is in your ear and essentially emitting EMF signals into your brain. So it's kind of debated. It's kind of a, it's kind of debated whether or not how bad it really is. But again, another reason would be to give yourself less exposure to that radiation by when you're going outside and you're going to the gym or whatever to take them out so that you're not constantly getting radiated. Um, and even if it's a small amount over time, it still adds up, right? I mean, yeah, you can get the wired ones. Um, you can get like wired earbuds or the wired headphones that would probably help. But I mean, these are pretty convenient. There's just a lot of applications to where the wireless ones are a lot more beneficial. And so I don't necessarily think the answer is that you can't use them. It's just that if you reduce the amount that you're using them, especially when you're going out, there's all those different benefits. So yeah, that's pretty much what I had today on that topic. But uh, essentially some of the action steps you can take with this is like I said before, uh, so specifically when you're moving, if you're running, walking, uh, you can you can still listen to music and podcasts, but just even try cutting it down maybe in half, right? So halfway through your walk or halfway through your gym session, stop listening, take them out and just be present in the moment. Or if you can, if you're get if you've worked up to the point where you can just not, you don't need them. You don't feel like you really need to constantly be having something in your ear. You can even just do that while you're in the gym or while you're on a walk. And like I said, it has all those benefits of, you know, making you more present, increasing your attention span and focus, uh, letting your brain just be, be in the moment and not be distracted really helps make you really helps you make connections and creative more. You'll, you'll be more creative and more thoughts will come up surrounding your goals on how you can achieve them. Right. If you're not constantly distracting yourself, um, opportunities, right. Working on your social skills, increasing, uh, the possibility of, you know, different opportunities coming up, whether it be like business opportunities or whatever, meeting new people and then avoiding constant EMF in your ear. You know, I like when you're at home, you're probably, you probably have your earbuds in, right? Whether you're like playing video games or you're on TV or you're just walking around listening to stuff, you're probably going to have earbuds in or headphones on. So when you go outside, it makes sense that you're taking them out so that you're not constantly bombarded by EMF. Uh, but yeah, I used to be super addicted to to basically just constantly going around with this because in our space, a lot of people are always talking about how you need to be listening to like educational podcasts, bro, and be listening to educational videos, which is important, but they don't ever mention the downsides of constantly doing that. And so I've been finding out a bit about this, doing some research. I want to bring this to your attention, bro, because uh, it might be something you want to consider changing. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's essentially what you can do. I just want to bring that up today and that's going to be pretty much it for today. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.